Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asian Renee. For those of you who do not know and who do not know, well, I just told you guys. So as you probably know, I haven't been here in forever. And I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what my reason is. It's always the same, and that is school. But I only have one week left, so I'm excited. I'm definitely going to get back into doing YouTube, like, hardcore. I'm like thinking of stuff that I can film about. It's gonna be great. I'm super excited. I'm gonna be done with school finally and I can focus all my time on reselling and I'm just so happy. I might go back to school but you know what we're gonna think about that for a little bit and see where that takes us. So I want to go ahead and get into this video. I have some clothes here. I went to the Goodwill outlet last week. Yeah last week on Wednesday and I got a ton of stuff, like a lot, a lot of stuff. But I actually photographed half of that stuff already, I think the day after. Yeah, which is crazy because I usually like never do that. So the day after, I photographed a lot of stuff and I've been listing it. But this is the other half that I haven't photographed because it needs to be steamed. So if it doesn't need to be steamed, I'll photograph it right away, get it listed. If it needs to be steamed, it kind of gets thrown to the side until I have a chance to steam it. I like to bulk steam. I like to bulk do everything like bulk photograph, bulk prep, bulk ship, bulk everything. So all this stuff needs to be steamed. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I guess the second half of everything that I got is not a lot but I just wanted to do a thrift haul. So everything's hung up already which is different. I like never show you guys stuff on hangers. But, like I said, um, everything's already, like, ready to be steamed. So, I'm just going to show you guys on the hangers. So, the first thing that I have are these Victoria's Secret pink leggings. Um, they are the flare ones. I like to pick these up because they sell pretty decently on Mercari for me. They sell really fast. So, that's why I like to pick them up. Um, I do have other ones, but they're like a school logo, so they're at University of Washington, so I think that's why they haven't sold yet. But all the other ones that aren't school logos usually sell pretty well, and it says pink on the bottom. Alright, we're off to a great start. So these, I wish I found during the springtime because they are so cute and they're definitely spring colors. This is Lucky Brand. And these are a size 10. They're ankle crop and they're distressed. Super cute. And they're like, um, well, they're skinny, but they're like a dusty, like a dusty pink. Super nice. Those are my size. I would definitely keep them. Oh no, these hangers suck. All right. Next is this like bandana type skirt thingy I guess I think it's new with tags let me double check it is it's new with tags it's Ann Taylor so yeah I was at the bins um when was oh yeah yep last week I was at the bins last week and this when they wrote out the last bin they didn't have that many clothes I went really late though and all oh, these have pockets just so you know but one of the last bins that came out was just a big black bag. There was a big black bag of clothes inside of it. And so like, I'm like going through the clothes and there's like one other person there with me because I guess we really wanted clothes. Everyone else was there for like the linens and stuff that came out because the rest of it was linens. And I'm starting to like pull everything out the bag and I'm like, I'm like putting all that stuff in my cart because it's good. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna pick up this whole bag. So I just picked up the whole big black bag, put it in my cart, kept going through everything else that wasn't in the black bag. And then once I was done, I looked through the black bag and I ended up keeping almost everything that was in there. I put a few things back because it was some, like kid stuff and I don't know I just don't really sell kids things unless they're like really they really speak to me. I actually have a few kids items on this rack that's just been sitting here for a while. So it's just something that I don't like to sell. I like women's clothing only. I don't know. Alright next is this Athleta 2-in-1. This is the contender skirt because I actually just sold this on eBay and where is the logo so I can show you guys? I think it's on the front. Oh, here it is. There's the logo. But yeah, it's just a skort. Has a little zipper on the back here. And this is a size medium. The next thing, these are not really like for winter, but they're so cute. They're just relaxed fit, wide leg pants. I think they're cropped. Um, they look a little cropped or they might be... Well, they're size four, so maybe the person is really small. 
like short I don't know but they look kind of to be cropped so maybe they are maybe they're not but they're just relaxed beautiful they're kind of see-through let's see if they're I don't think they're linen they don't really feel like it um yeah, they're not linen, they're rayon, 100% rayon, but they, they feel really nice. And this is Ann Taylor Loft. Super cute. All of these I'm so excited about. These green, like, straight leg pants. They have some sparkle in them. In them. And there's some um, peeling in, like, some spots, but I'm just going to take a sweater shaver to that. They are Betsy Johnson. They're a size medium. These are super cute, you guys. Like, this is, like, straight out of the 70s. Absolutely love this. I can't wait to get these listed. I wouldn't say they're straight. I think they're more of, like, a boot cut. They have, like, a slight flare, but not too crazy. This is a kid's item I picked up. Um, this is Hannah Anderson. Even though I just said I don't pick up kids items, but I don't know. I like Hannah Anderson. I think it's really nice and cute little frilly skirt here. If I do pick up kids, it's usually girl stuff. Like, let's be serious. Next, are uh, this is my first time finding this brand, but I know it's a decent brand. Um, Cole, Cole. I think that's how you say it. There we go. These are a size two, and they're just a purple like cropped shorts or capris pants I don't know what you call them capris I think yeah they got a drawstring outdoorsy oh and they have like this nice little flower embroidery on the back it's cute real real cute next are these black lululemon flare pants Lululemon, they definitely have some peeling on them. I don't even know why I grabbed these, to be honest. I probably should have just not have grabbed them because, guys, my shirt is, like, falling. Oh, it's because my phone is in my pocket and it's just weighing me down. I probably shouldn't have grabbed them. There's a lot of peeling on them, but they are a size 6. Um, I think I'm going to put them on eBay auction. I may or may not try to depeel them, but they're the flare. I have a pair of flares in my closet already. I just feel like these don't move that well. They really don't. Next is this crazy bright metallic like holographic jacket half zip. This is Forever 21 Men and this is a size medium I think. Yeah, medium. So the only reason why I grabbed this is because I actually grabbed this for my husband. I was going to see if he could fit it. It's too small. It's a little too small for him. So I'm just going to sell it. Um, but normally I probably wouldn't have gotten this to resell but like I said I grabbed it for him he couldn't fit it so yeah I'm gonna resell it because I paid for it but it is hooded and it has like a little like drawstring I guess to tighten up the waist down here it's really nice though I like the brightness this is mauve which is anthropology show you guys the tag there boom and I love like the ruffle details here on the sleeve. It's kind of boxy, I guess you could say. Um, it's super wrinkly because I did have to wash it, but I let it air dry because, let's see. Oh, it's just rayon. I thought it was something else. But yeah, it says for best results dry clean, but I don't, mm, eh, mm. I washed it. I did, I did a light wash cycle next is velvet by graham and spencer collection i don't know if there's like a big difference between the collection and just the regular i have to look it up but this is a size medium and i just thought this was super cute like this kind of reminds me of wallpaper like <laughs> that older people have in their house like their kitchen but it has this nice tag detail here is this what is this this is made in india what's the material so this is a silk and cotton blend, which honestly I've never seen a silk and cotton blend before. Or maybe I haven't, I just didn't notice, but I didn't know those two materials went together. Next is this Victoria's Secret pink good vibes little crop top thing. It could be a bra, but I think it's more of a crop top. 
This is a size large. Here's the tag. Actually, yeah, I think this is a swim top because I feel like all their swim items have this, like, tag like this. But, I mean, pretty sure somebody would wear this as a crop top. Maybe not now because it's cold, but, yeah. All right, next is Jenny Wu. Jenny Wo collection. This is a bridal dress, or not a bridal dress, like a bridal party dress, bridesmaid's dress, that's what they're called, duh. And it has a v-neck, double v-neck, some whatever this is called, ruffle, jeez, and it is a full gown dress. This dress though was altered, which I didn't realize it was altered, but I mean, I feel like I could just mention that and somebody can unalter it and get it re-altered to fit them so yeah got that something just sold on ebay beautiful love that all right next is this victoria's secret um sleep top i didn't find the bottom it's but I still wanted to grab it because it is soft and I think somebody would still want this and it's more of like a Christmassy theme I guess just because of like the colors I'm saying that oh and there's snowflakes on here I didn't see that so yeah this is definitely I think this will sell it does have a Goodwill tag on it but I did not get this from Goodwill they were trying to sell it at $4.99 I got all this stuff from the bins Sometimes it's raw donations only. Sometimes it's like a mix of raw donations plus stuff from the Goodwills. And then one of the bins that I do go to sometimes is just Goodwill stuff. And I would say that's sometimes like good. Sometimes it's not because a lot of times it's just Target stuff. Like Target things. And I'm like, oh, great. But sometimes it actually really is good stuff. Like they overprice certain things. Nobody wanted to buy it. Ended up in the bins. I got it. Next is Gimmicks by BKE. And I absolutely love this jacket. This is a size large. It's an open front, like, olive green, military green jacket. It does have buttons, which I didn't realize until just now. But yeah, it's super... It has, like, a lot going on. A lot. Some eyelet detail down here at the bottom. Some stripes here. It's hooded. This is like perfect for layering. Did I say size large? Size large. Next is this Madewell silk dress. It is more pinkish than it looks red. Um, it does have pockets. I didn't know that. Wow. So Madewell. In case you guys don't know what the Madewell tag looks like. And it is long sleeves, button cuff sleeves, and it's pretty basic, nothing to it. It's a mini dress, or maybe like knee length. I wouldn't say as mini. Yeah, it's kind of sheer though, so you definitely have to wear something in. But it's 100% it's silk. Next is New Romantics by Free People. Here's the tag for ya. And it's like this spot tie-dye crochet... I don't know, sweater, knit <laughs> sweater, it's really nice. I actually got this um, a while ago, but there was a stain on it, so I had, to treat, I had to treat it, but it came out super easy. So I'm super excited to get this listed. I have tons of free people sweaters listed, and I think two of them, maybe three of them, have already sold. This is it's nothing special, it's just express, but... I love the color. I think this is perfect for the holiday season. This nice emerald jewel tone color. color. So I'm super excited to get this listed. And it, like, it feels really nice. It's Express. Size small. Next is this... Um, what is this? Lululemon. It's a Lululemon like, with the built-in bra. The strappy bra on the back. I don't know the style name. I don't know them very well off the top of my head like that. But this is Lululemon. And this is a size... Um, I actually... Let me see. Size 4. I was actually... I grabbed this and um, I was trying... Like it was all like tangled up and I was trying to figure out like what brand it was. But it was a new bin. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to throw it in my car. I'll look at it later. And then when I went through my stuff right before I left, I realized it was Lululemon. I was like, oh, good. I, I grabbed it because I was like it felt really nice but it was so like 
tangled up and I couldn't untangle it to see what brand it was so I just threw it in my cart and worked out for me next is Plon Poloni I think that's how you say it Poloni and this is and I'm gonna take this off the hanger just because so you can see it better it's in like an off-the-shoulder ruffle blouse I guess you could wear it on the shoulders a little bit, but I'm thinking it's more supposed to be off the shoulders. I'll definitely try to have to find a stock photo for it, but it's super cute. It's button front, and the buttons actually do work, and then there's like a little tie detail on the front. It's super cute. This is linen. I absolutely love picking up anything linen, you guys. No, it's cotton, but it feels like linen. Next is Lucky Brand. And it's just this cami, this gold lace front cami. There is an extra layer underneath this lace here so it's not completely see-through. Not the time for it or the season, but you know what? I'm going to list it anyway. Next is Silence and Noise, which is an Urban Outfitters brand. But it does have the 66170 um, RA number. Speaking of that, I actually created a, like, um, what's those little things on Instagram where you can, like, save your stories and, like, at the top? Well, anyways, I saved, like, a special story for 66170 tags. So, if you guys don't know all of them, I mean, I don't even know all of them. I don't have all of them in there. But as I get them, I take pictures of them, put them on my story, and then save them to that little, like, album 66170. So, you can go through it and look at it whenever you get a chance. But... This is Silence and Noise. Great. It doesn't want to stay on. But it's just a like three-quarter sleeve v-neck rumper. It does have pockets. This is not the season for it, you guys, like I said. But you know what? It's hot somewhere. That's what I like to say. It might not be cold somewhere, but it's always hot somewhere. This is Erie and Alley which is an anthropology brand and it's like this scallop hem blouse it's just orange it's more of like a boxy cut but it's super it feels so so nice you guys like this, this feels quality high high quality and it has a lot of stretch to it you better be careful for a rip it next is Plano poloni i think that's how you say it this is a different tag, but this is the tag I usually pick up, which is a size large. But I really love this. That's the only reason why I picked it up, because of these little birds on here. This is so cute. I mean, it's my size. I probably could wear it. But look at these birds, you guys. Aren't they cute? But yeah, just a sleeveless blouse. Nothing special about that. Next is, this is, I absolutely love this. This is Free People. Show the tag right there but it's just a floral bell sleeve square neckline dress like look look at this you guys this is absolutely beautiful I love this so much I love these colors I wish this was my size this is a size small so definitely like an oversized but I mean a lot of their stuff I feel like is oversized mm, that's so cute Next is, oh, so this is, let me take it off hanger. This is a vintage scarf. It's a vintage silk scarf. I looked up comps on it before I grabbed it, and they look like they're selling pretty decently on eBay. So the brand is uh, T. Carney. I think that's, I think that's what it is. Um, I'll have to like, look it up again, but 100% silk, made in Korea, and it's a vintage kimono. So, if you see these, grab them. I mean, I put it in my cart because I felt like it was something good. Because it felt really nice and it looked good. And then it said 100% silk. So, I was like, okay, it's probably it probably is something. And then, once I ran cops, I realized it was. So, good call, Asia. Good call. Next is San Soku. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a size medium. And this is just a sheer floral kimono with some fringe on the sleeves and at the bottom love this i've only picked up this brand once and it was a pink polka dot dress and it took me forever to sell it i actually didn't even sell it i sent it to thread up and they sold it but i think this is really nice and really pretty and i think that this will sell well hopefully 
you know the dress was a bad call so I didn't want to like because I, I thought about not getting this because I was like oh I tried to sell this brand once and it didn't work but I think this dress was just a bad call I think this is more of a, a style people might go for that dress not so much all right and then the last thing is let me zip it up is this Mariners bomber jacket it's in really great condition it's just super wrinkly so I need to steam it this is a size what size is this oh the size wore off the size tag wore off so um yeah I really don't know what size this is but if I have to say I'm thinking this is like a small maybe maybe a medium I don't know it's full zip super nice it has nothing on the back plain on the back but that's it yeah, so that's everything I have, you guys. I just wanted to show you guys really quickly what I have because, I don't know, I just felt like filming. I, pff, hey, and you know what? I'm going to try to edit this video super quickly and get it up so you guys can see it. Also, I just want to put this out there. I do have some men's items. They're actually right here, so I can go through them really quickly if you guys want to see them. But um, I have some men's items. I'm just not that happy listing men's items. And, like, I still source them. Oh, excuse me. I still source them because obviously, like, it'll make me money, but it's just not something that I, uh, eh, I don't like listing them. So they always get put on the back burner. They're all up here because they needed to be steamed, like, a couple of weeks ago. I never did it. Got more clothes and decided to list everything else before these. And I just keep adding to this pop because I don't want to list guys stuff. So... If you like men's clothing or you, I don't know, you want to branch into men's clothing, I have a ton of like dress shirts here, um, long sleeve, short sleeves, like yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. So um, there's 15 items, they're all in great condition. One sweater, it does have some peeling on it, it needs to be depeeled. But other than that, everything else is in great condition. I did post on my stories about this, so it may or may not even be up there anymore but if you're interested let me know you guys like some of the brands are uh Ralph Lauren Polo J Crew Nordstrom brand let's see what else Charles and I think that's it oh and Brooks Brothers so yeah if you guys are interested in that let me know if you see anything in this haul that you want, comment down below or just go ahead and head over to my Instagram and DM me because I don't think this stuff is going to be listed for at least a couple of days until Monday. So let me know, you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.